Tom is an excellent diver. Tom jumps up at an angle 45 degrees from a diving board 4 metres high with an initial speed of 2.4 metres per second. Assuming that there is no air resistance and that Tom is a particle, calculate his greatest height during the dive, b the range of his dive. The pool attendant wants to rope one part of the pool off for swimmers. Assuming that Tom's, this is Tom's best dry, dive and there must be a 10 metre gap, how far from the base of the diving board should the attendant rope off? First sketch a graph of the situation. So we have x, y axis, an initial velocity of 2.4 metres per second at 45 degrees to the horizontal. And this is the path of the dive. Gravity acting down at minus 9.8 metres per second. And the diving board is 4 metres high. Set up the equations of motion. So the velocity, v is equal to u plus at. The horizontal component will be 2.4 si uh, cos 45 degrees, and there will be no gravity acting against that, so A is equal to 0. For the vertical component, that will be 2.4 sine 45 degrees, but minus the gravity acting against it times time, using this formula here. The position, using S is equal to UT plus a half AT squared, x will be 2.4t cos 45, no gravity acting against it, so this bit, last bit here will be 0. And y will be 4, you have to have 4 because it starts at 4, plus 2.4t sine 45 minus 4.9t squared, the initial height is 4 metres above the ground. Call those 1, 2, 3, 4, write them out again. And draw, let's draw the graph again as well. Right, we want the greatest height. Now the greatest height will be when the uh, vertical velocity will be equal to zero. So when this one is equal to zero. So the greatest height is happens when vy is equal to zero. So for, from equation two, we're going to have 2.4 sine 45 minus gt is equal to zero. Now solve this for t. Get gt is equal to 2.4 sine 45 t is equal to 2.4 sine 45 over g, which gives you, on your calculator, 0 0.1736 seconds. To find the greatest height, we need to now put this into here, the, the vertical height. So my value of t in, don't round off prematurely. So I've got 4 plus 2.4 times 0 0.17316 sine 45 for this bit here, minus 4.9 times 0 0.1731 all squared, squared. That gives me 4.146869, which gives me 4.15 meters. Okay, which is above the, the initial height. Now, now to find the time when we get to here. So from 4, we need to, the time when we get to here will be when this y here, this, this equation here, is equal to 0. So we put 4 plus 2.4t sine 45 degrees minus 4.9t squared is equal to 0. So write that down again. This is a quadratic in t, so I'm just going to rewrite it so the 4.9 is positive. So that means you change the sign of that one, that one, and that one. So positive, negative, neg negative. So solve this, you need to use the quadratic formula. So using the quadratic formula, we've got t is equal to minus b. So minus b is uh, m minus minus 2.4 sine 45 plus or minus b squared. So it's minus 2.4 sine 45 squared minus 4 times 4.9 times minus 4, all divided by 2 times 4.9. On my calculator, this is going to give 1.6970 plus or minus the square root of 81.28 divided by 9.8. So t will be equal to minus 0 0.7467. Now that doesn't happen, but that happens because the, the, the graph, if you move the graph backwards, because it started at 4, it will go come down on the negative axis. Or t will be equal to 1.0934. Therefore the time to enter the water will, will be that one, 1 1.09 seconds. The horizontal distance from the bottom of the uh, diving board, or the base of the diving board, we have to use equation 3. So we 
x will be 2.4 times 1.0931 times the cos of 45, which gives me 1.855 meters. Now, this actually, because or 1.86, because the initial ang angle was 45 degrees, this is actually the maximum range that Tom can actually reach. So, assuming that this was his best dive. Therefore, in order to answer the last part, the pull attendant will need to rope off 1.86 plus 10 meters, because it has to be a 10 meter gap, which is 11.86 meters. So, it probably would land off at 11.9 meters, or better, probably will be 12 meters from the base.